Hi everyone! Today we'll continue building our Power BI dashboard from scratch. At this moment, our model consists of only one month. It is May 2023. But we are planning to upload new months of data – June, July and August. Let's assume we would like to see the profit and loss statement not for just one month, but for the period of two months, or a quarter, or a half year period. To do that, we will need to add a time slicer, and this will be the topic of our today's tutorial. This playlist is devoted to a small business owner. Here I'm showing you how you can transfer your reporting environment from Excel to Power BI dashboard. We have the following assumptions. Assumption 1. You're a small business owner. Assumption 2. Every week or month you have to prepare profit and loss statements for different products, locations, profit centers, etc. You are doing that manually in Excel from scratch, building numerous pivot tables, combining different raw data reports such as revenue report, payroll report, bank statement vendor report, and so on. Assumption 3. You don't have financial or data analyst in your team. We are also assuming that you want to see not only revenues and direct cost picture, you want to see the whole picture of your business containing all types of revenues and all types of expenses. And final assumption, you have just basic knowledge of Microsoft Excel. If that's all about you, then this playlist is yours. Here we're starting from building an Excel tool where you will be simply pasting all your raw data reports. This tool will automatically assign revenue and expense tags to the raw data. Also, this tool will be a library for the cost allocation rules that will be applied to different vendors and other operating costs. The outputs from this tool will be flying to our Power BI dashboard and serve as a data source. Then we will build Power BI dashboard from scratch. Profit and loss statement, slicers and filters, charts and diagrams, and summary tables. All tutorials in this playlist will be very short and comprehensive. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. We can also create Excel decision-making tools, models, Power BI dashboards for your business. All the links on tutorials you will be able to find in the description of this video. Now we are going back to our model. Let's go to the table view where our raw data exists. Here we can see the column that will be the source of our slicer, column year plus month. If we click here, we will be able to see that our data consists of only May 2023. But this is just for now, we will be adding new portions of data for the next month and I will be showing you all the process of adding data to our Power BI dashboard. This will be the topic of one of our next tutorials. Now let's go to the report view and create our slicer. Next step will be dragging the column name that I was just showing you to this area. Now our slicer is ready, let's give it a name. We can also play with font size and color. Let's also add select all button.
Now we're done with time slicer for the profit and loss statement and we can move to the next step. We are planning to upload a new month of data in our Power BI dashboard. I will be showing you this process in details. And this will be the topic of our next tutorial. So please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends who have their own business. Also, you can order from scratch building Excel decision making tools, models and Power BI dashboards. All the tutorial links you will be able to find in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. See you next tutorials and bye.